The title of this program, Fueling the Nation, speaks to the opportunity before us and really the entire nation. Energy is everything. It drives our economy, it drives our national security, and it literally drives our future. We've all witnessed the ups and downs of the energy sector that has brought us over, the, which we've had over the last few decades, from relying on energy imports to becoming now an energy exporter, from being bound by technical and resource limitations to becoming virtually limitless in our ability to innovate and help steer the nation on an economic path toward prosperity. Uh, say you did this with, you, you mandated it for every school bus in America. It's 500,000 school buses. <clears throat> They're going to refuel at the same place every night. You need one fueling station right there. You've now reduced the cost of the transportation of kids. You're able to put that money back into the classroom, which is what America's screaming for, what teachers need. Uh, more importantly, you've got something that runs every day, five days a week, and you're now putting the cleanest mode of, of burn on the road. I think you, you, you create the incentive and uh, the, in, the, the incentive uh, that we incorporated uh, into the, the, the hauling bill also applied to school buses. It's just that we never got an opportunity to fully debate that and to, to vet it, but all of these pieces, yeah, they're happen, happening naturally. Right. You ride on D.C. streets or Winston-Salem Street, you see uh, the, the, the bus, the, the municipal bus, and it's now uh, with natural gas. Uh, cleaner, cheaper over the long haul, and people look at it and feel good. Well, I think what the president has done is laid out the right course. He's made sure initially under Secretary Chu uh, that they would uh, provide uh, for the fact that all the science and all the safety measures that needed to be taken would. Yes, I believe that it's safe. I believe that uh, uh, we have the technology that's been around for years. This is a major breakthrough, and it provides the United States with an opportunity where we are known for our technology and our innovation, and for us to be able to get after uh, this gas locked up in shale uh, is an enormous breakthrough for us uh, scientifically, but also from an energy standpoint, and also from a clean energy standpoint. So I think the uh, benefits, uh, provided you go after them in a way that's safe and secure, not only make all the sense in the world, but it's practical, common sense solution that allows us to go after an abundance of energy that, as uh, Boone Pickens would say, is uh, abundant, American, and it's ours. My industry, none of our folks are recreational drivers. I mean, we have a responsibility to move product from point A to point B for customers, and therefore, we're going to be interested in the most uh, efficient, affordable fuels that we can find. And up to this point, that's principally been diesel and gasoline. Natural gas is a new opportunity for us, and, and we're anxious to see to what extent we can take advantage of that. We're certainly pleased to see the advancements that are occurring in the manufacturing of natural gas uh, you know, trucks. Uh, we're certainly pleased with the deployment of, of infrastructure that provides fueling opportunities for both CNG and LNG. Uh, and uh, I think uh, if, you, if you think about how locked in we've been to one source of fuel for essentially ever, uh, just the fact that we now have the potential for competition uh, in, in the selection of fuel to, 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 to power our vehicles is an awfully exciting development for the uh, commercial vehicle industry.